What's up everyone? Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to our vlog channel. Today we have a really exciting vlog. We are starting a very big project. <laughs> yeah, so it's finally not van related. We yeah. are doing something on the house and we're doing the lounge transformation video. Mm -hmm. And this has been such a long time in the making. We've been meaning to do this for so long. Yeah. And finally we've almost got everything to get started. Around about four years. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we're going to walk you through the lounge now. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to show them, Roxy? Yeah. So right now, our lounge is a bit of a mess because we sort of tried to like rejig things around to see whether we would like this new setup. Yeah. If you guys remember our house tour, we used to have our sofa here, one of them, and then the other would be right there where it is right now. Yep. So what we've done is we've pretty much flipped the whole room around. So we've now got a TV that's just freestanding on the ground. Temporarily. <laughs> Temporarily. And then we have our fireplace behind this sofa, which just looks like a mess, right? Well, it but... was just to see how the room would look with the sofas there. Yeah. I actually preferred it with the sofas the other side, but mm. you prefer it this way, so we're gonna do it this way. Yeah, we're doing it this way purely because this wall is larger than that one, so it just seems to make sense to have like a big corner sofa here and then have the TV there. So we're pretty much basically gonna be flipping the whole room around. Yeah, so we'll be changing the carpets, plastering the ceilings, painting the walls, new sofas coming. Yep. Uh, might change the doors. Yeah. The most exciting part is gonna be over here. Mm -hmm. So we've got a brand new fireplace coming in. It's like so, oh, it's amazing. so sleek. It's an Avanti by Onyx. Is it Onyx? I think it's Onyx. Onyx. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. Onyx. Uh, and that's just going to be a linear fireplace going down here. Yep. Uh, just wait until you see that. And then oh, it's amazing. And we've got the Nature Wall. Mm -hmm. So these are the slat wall panels by Nature Wall. Yep. And uh, they also have like an acoustic backing to them, which is good. Yeah, great for like cinema rooms as well and all sorts. We've actually used this in our van. Yeah, anywhere where there's going to be like sound, it'll, you know, have good absorption. But yeah. Um, yeah, these pa these panels tied with the fireplace on this wall yep. and the TV on the wall. I yeah. It's going to look really good. It's going to look like such a nice feature wall and it's like the perfect size for it as well. So we're so excited to get started. We've pretty much got everything ready to go. The one last thing we're waiting for is the fireplace. Yeah. All right, so the fireplace has finally arrived and uh, we knew it was big and heavy, but it's way bigger and way heavier than we could have anticipated. Yeah, uh, fireplace delivery day, and I don't know if this is 120 kilograms, it feels like more. I don't know, but we've made a little makeshift ramp to try and get it in, into the house, because we can't lift it. There is a steel, yeah. like a 500 kilogram rated ramp under that piece yeah. of wood, but... I just don't know how we're going to get it in. <laughs> yeah, take this. Like, we can't lift it but maybe we can slide it. Try. I feel like you might need my help for this. <laughs> Are you doing anything? <laughs> I don't think it's happening. What are you doing, a run up? Oh my God. Oh, you've bent the ramp. <sighs> it would have worked though, but the ramp is bent now. Okay, so we've, um attached it from the pallet now. <laughs> yeah, we realised it was strapped to the pallet, so. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Oh, oh there yeah. you go. Three, two, one. One. What is it? Sound like it never happened. <laughs> All right, All right three, in. two, one. That was a job and a half, that was. So we've cleared this wall, we've put the fireplace in its place, it is going to be lifted a little bit higher, but this is kind of what it will look like. Yeah. It's so cool. I, I actually, the pictures don't even do it justice compared to how it looks in real life. Yeah. Like, that is incredible. So long. <laughs> Obviously we haven't filled it with anything yet. Um, yeah. This is how it comes out of the box. Mm -hmm. And this fireplace is really cool because it actually has the option to have the sides exposed. Oh, like yeah. you can actually see the glass from the sides as well. That's an option. So if we remove this panel, you'd have a, yeah, like a 3D effect. You'd have a glass panel there, but we're going to go with the... The flat. So you can only see through the front sort of fascia. Yeah. Just because of the size of this room, like you wouldn't really be able to appreciate the corners anyway. I'll show you how it will look. So basically this panel will sit in this gap here. Mm-hmm. That's going to go like that. It slots so nicely, like gives it a really nice finish. Yeah, so that's going to go all the way around underneath. How far should we lift it off the ground? I don't know, maybe a few six, inches. I was thinking six inches, but 
I think maybe it needs a bit more. Oh, we get, we're being deceived, remember, because. Oh, yeah. You don't, you're not oh, going to yeah. see this. You're not going to see this part. So I think we'll so get it's actually with just this. A bit more than. No, I think we'll do more than six inches then. Yeah. And then that's going to look so cool yeah. with, the, with the panel. Let's get to work on building the stud wall then. Yeah. And just like that, it's a mess in here. Yep. <laughs> we've made a start, so we've just taken out a bit of the carpet. This carpet is going to go anyway, eventually. Um, and then we're putting these beams down to kind of build the stud wall frame. And what uh, wood are we using for this? Uh, we're just using four by two. I think we're yeah. using, yeah, we just went for stronger wood because the weight of the fireplace. It's really heavy, yeah. And we're just going to do the cuts in here. We've got extraction, so it shouldn't get too dusty. Yeah. So this is how we're getting on so far. We've built the frame around the outside. We've got two uprights. Mm -hmm. uh, the fireplace manual said 1988 between there and there. Yep. So that's what we've got. And then fireplace is going to sit on this. Yep. The actual glass doesn't start to that there. Yeah. And then we've just got the supporting beam across here. We're going to have two of those. Yeah, for the TV. To hold the weight of the TV for the bracket. So the bulk of the stud wall is now done. This is what it looks like. Yeah, and we've got the two uprights here. Yeah. For the TV bracket. We quickly got a TV bracket from Argos. <laughs> yeah, because we realised if we don't have the TV bracket, we won't know like where to actually put the beams. And apparently, just with two screws is enough to hold up to 80 kg, so... Crazy. I don't believe it, but I guess we'll see. Guess we'll see. Um, <laughs> Could all go wrong. <laughs> let's get the fireplace in to decide like the right height. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow, it's so big. <laughs> Just needs a little jiggle. Uh, there we go. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Should I get the panel in place? Yeah, go on. So you can see roughly. That's still oh, wow. Yeah, that's going to look so good. And obviously the front bracket there. Yeah. That's going to look so good. All right, so it's now the next day. This is what we have sort of done so far. So we've just kind of put these beams going across and we are now going to cut the nature wall panels to fill the space. All right, so we've got the wall slats out. We are now measuring up and basically just cutting them so that they fit. Yeah, uh, they come at 2.4. We just need them a tiny bit under that. Yeah. Uh, it's really annoying because uh, the side of our wall isn't quite straight, so we might have to cut a little bit off the side as well. Yeah. I swear everywhere we live, we never have a straight <laughs> wall. I know, right? Am I cutting the right way up with the blade? Hopefully. Am I getting a good finish? Yeah. Okay, we're, it's actually supposed to be the other way up because the blade cuts upwards. But I think because it's a new blade, I'm just going to cut it should be okay. Yeah. Okay, so the panel is now in. We just cut around this area here. Yeah, so we only had to cut out two slats. Um, luckily, the fireplace has like a little groove yeah. for the panels to sit in, so we'll lower this a little bit. It will sit nicely in this detachable frame. Yeah. Oh, we did also take the glass out. Oh yeah, we took the glass out just to be safe. Yeah, oh, have a look at this, this is cool. So with the fireplace, we've got five different logs uh, and another set, and mm -hmm. it tells you where they go. And then you've got these special glowing ones that plug in with an LED strip on the back. Yeah. Which is really cool. And then at the bottom, which lays on the base of the fireplace. Oh, these are lighter than I was expecting. Yeah. Are these like uh, these stones? Coal. The yeah. coal stones, yeah. Which are really realistic looking, You get actually. lots of them, yeah. So, and there's also an option to get a silver birch, like wood, which I didn't realise. Yeah. Which would look nice. These are what the logs look like. They look so realistic. Like, you'd never be able to tell it's not real wood. I know, yeah. It's really... Crazy. Really good. And they come in, like, different uh, shapes and sizes as well. In the manual, it kind of tells you how to put it all together to get, like, the optimum effect. Yeah. It so, tells you there, like, they've actually... So they always come the same. Yeah. So we've got to just lay it out the same way as this. Yeah. Just put a frame to hold it on. Yeah. Okay, so this is the stage we are at now. It's actually looking like it's coming together, isn't it? Yeah, it's going good. Um, it looks kind of so nice. It so it'd fit basically any size TV down to like a 40 inch. Maybe yeah. A 45 inch. Yeah. Just because if people move in in the future and they want like a 55 inch, it'll be fine. 
Yeah. And then we'll have all the we'll have plug sockets here and stuff. Yeah, it's looking so good. I can't wait to turn that fireplace on. And um, action. I only recommended it because it said. Got it. Got it. Electric cable in, obviously. Alright guys, so the wall slats are finally finished, the TV is on, it hasn't fallen off yet, fingers crossed. Yeah, I was really nervous about that and we actually had to bring the TV out a little bit because mm -hmm. we couldn't get it on. But it's looking really good, the fireplace is in as well so let's have a closer look. So as you can see we've put the glass in, we've put the wood and the coal in and it looks so freaking realistic, I'm actually amazed. We're not going to turn it on just yet because we want it to be a surprise. Yeah, we don't want to ruin the surprise and also we're going to do a whole nother video on this fire just yeah. to walk you through all the controls trolls like the stuff it can do it's pretty mm -hmm. cool actually it has so many features it's really really clever so we are now at the stage where we're focusing on the other wall where the fireplace used to be yep and as you guys can see we got rid of the fireplace we had it all disconnected and everything there's a small hole behind there right yeah it's not <laughs> it's too not bad actually uh, so we're going to plasterboard this side yeah and we're going to brick it up from the outside it's not a lot of bricks only a couple no. And then obviously we're going to change the carpet eventually, we're going to fill these holes and then paint the whole room. Yeah, so let's fit this and then see if we can get on with some painting as well. So Matt's just screwing in the plastic board. Yep. And it's looking pretty good. No yeah. hole. Just got to, well there's a fair bit of work to do around the edges. Yeah, you got to fill that. It bulges out there. We are like going to plaster over it though so it should be okay. So we have just filled in the holes of the fireplace as well as the TV where it used to be with some polyfiller. We still have to sand it and we have fitted the carpet before. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, unfortunately the carpet has already arrived mm -hmm. which means we have to now paint with the new carpet in place. Yeah, we're going to get a tarp or something to like cover it up so we shouldn't really damage it hopefully. Yeah. But we didn't get it all done before it came so we kind of but have it looks, to make do. <laughs> it looks really good. I think it contrasts the wood really well and I think when the walls are painted mm -hmm. it will look really good. So we have just finished painting. Yeah, the painting's all finished. We actually glossed the skirting boards and everything as well. Yep. We decided not to plaster the ceiling in the end. Yeah, we just thought it's just an extra added thing that doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, and basically this is kind of how it's looking at the minute. Yep. I think it's all looking really good. We've yeah. got the old sofa still in place, obviously. Yeah, I mean, it is still winter, so it's not the brightest, but I can already tell that it's going to be so much brighter in here with the white walls. Yeah, oh, we haven't even put, like, a picture frames up and stuff. Yeah, yet. we're going to do so, that. So, I would say, in one week's time, you will see the brand new sofas we're putting in. Yeah. Plus the fireplace on and yeah. all the features it can do. Yeah, I've, we thought that we would leave that as like a little surprise in the next video so we can really show the features and everything. There's still a few things we want to change in this room such as maybe get some like new bits like furniture or something, get rid of those blinds because they are just so ugly. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what we're going to do with this table. Maybe we'll keep it. It yeah. just depends how it sits with the new sofa. Yeah, we are sad to see these sofas go because we've had them for like four years since our first place. And they are really nice still, but they are just so uncomfortable, aren't they? They are uncomfortable, mm. and they're already on Facebook Marketplace, so <laughs> yeah. maybe someone else will want them. Mm. So I guess that's the end of this first part of the video. Make sure you stay tuned for next week to see the full finished transformation of this room. Yeah, it'll literally be going up in one week, because we're filming it yeah. right now, and you will see basically everything finished. I'm so excited! Plus we've been doing some work in the hallways. Mm -hmm. But that is all for this video, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Yeah. Bye! See you guys, bye!